Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Last Rites. If you have already, thank you very much. If you haven't, please drop us a subscribe. If you're watching it back on YouTube, it will be a massive help. Channel's growing a little bit now in the last week, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Thank you. It would be lovely. Uh, no scoffle today. Let's talk Madeline McCann. Um, that was very serious. It is serious, I guess. It is serious. Let me bring up some uh, stuff we're going to share today. Um, yeah, this BBC article first, I think. Because if you remember, oh no, let's see this one. 16 years ago in a month, about that, Alan McCann went missing in Praia de Luz. Praia de Luz, I think it translates as light beach from my slight Portuguese knowledge, uh, but from the Brazilian side, I think that's what it translates. As. Anyway, the parents went out for tapas, as we know, uh, with a bunch of friends, left the kids uh, alone, and she went missing uh, from the bedroom there was a rotor to check on them, which is also, if you think about it, a rotor to not check on them at the same time. So whichever way you want to you wanna phrase that, uh, not good, not good. But there have been a, uh, yeah, this was the villa uh, where she was taken and all that stuff. We don't need to <clears throat> look at too much more of that. But obviously last week, the German police, I believe, started uh, searching about a 40 minute drive. Right, the loos down here up to the dam. So they started searching this area here based on information the belief from Christian B, notorious German, German waterfile. You know what I'm talking about. Christian B sounds like a spice girl, though. I mean, if you're gonna have a villain in Lori, can we name him? Can we uh just call him like Dr. Evil or Mad Christian? Could mean something else as well. But Christian B is like, yeah, it's a sporty, sporty spice and and the potentially masonic crazy crazy german pedophile that was in portugal at the time 16 years ago and he's in prison for something else i think uh nasty nasty piece of work i believe uh so yeah i can just share this one and they are searching away in the water around the water i mean hey, old grumpy mama how are we doing searching the water the, the three-day search is over though in the last week, they found a number of items unsure if related. So we spent millions, and uh, we found a shopping trolley, a used condom, and a traffic cone. Right, and a shoe. There was one Dunlop. Now that, those, I, I made those things up, but they're going to test if things are related. But given that Scotland Yard and the German Feds were involved in searching Portugal, it's probably good information. Um, after all, it was, it was so it was either this Spice Girl. It better, right? It's over this Christian B, or all the parents ground her up and turned her into a mincemeat. Scott Tenerman, <laughs> and then re ate her. Did they go back to the tapas bar and re eat the evidence the next day? That's a wild, that's a wild one. Uh, if you know, you know, Scott Tenerman must die. Uh, that'll do, that'll do. If you haven't already, please give us a subscribe. That would be lovely. Goodbye, thank you, good afternoon, see ya subscribe see ya let's hope let's hope it gets solved uh and then we can stop stop having it in the press as the, the, the most expensive missing girl in the world but yeah let's hope things actually gets resolved uh, that's it goodbye